do it. <gasps> oh, the manicotti looks good. Mm. I wonder if they'd be willing to substitute. Oh, they have deep fried portobello mushrooms here? Y you know, I haven't even looked at the seafood yet. Um, oh, crab legs, but that does sound kind of heavy. Yeah, you know, maybe I better go back here. <sighs> I don't suppose you'd want to go split seats with me, would you? Can you please just decide? Like, come on. Wait, you already know what you want to have? Oh, I'm already moved on to dessert. I just moved right along, found something I wanted, and stopped there. So you, dear cousin, have something called FOMO. Fear of missing out. Don't be ridiculous. I mean, just because it takes me a long time to decide and then I worry that I made the right choice, that doesn't mean I have fun. Yeah, it does. This is my problem. Too many options. We live in a world where every choice comes with millions of options. What are you gonna wear? What are you gonna eat? What kind of phone are you gonna buy? Even something as simple as ice cream comes with at least 31 options. So now you're not even looking at your menu and you're doing your show. What are we gonna eat, man? Soon, soon, I promise. I guess some people don't have a problem with lots of options to choose from, but me, to be honest, it kind of freaks me out. Cousin Aaron here goes to the store and buys Granny Smith apples because that's what he likes. Like me, I'm like, well, what about Fuji? Or, or what about Golden Delicious? Or, or Red Delicious for that matter? Have we decided what we're gonna have or do we need a little more time? I'm sorry, I need like Two more minutes, okay? All right, I'm almost done, I promise. Some people address their problems by limiting their options. Like me, when I eat lunch at home, I always have eggs or spinach or a quesadilla. What was that? It's my hanger. Okay, all right, almost done. I like to keep those options simple so I don't fret over what I'm gonna eat every single day. Did you know that Steve Jobs only had one outfit? When he went to his closet, he just had a whole bunch of the same thing. Black mock turtlenecks, blue jeans, and New Balance sneakers. You can never do that. <laughs> I suppose that's probably true. So hungry. You're right, I'm sorry. I will make a decision here. Sometimes the quickest way to a decision is to give yourself a time limit. I mean, this is a really good fake restaurant. I'm sure I'll enjoy whatever I get. Excuse me, ma'am? Yeah, I'll take the manicotti. No, wait. Yes, the manicotti. I'll have the cheeseburger medium rare with fries, please. This is the best fake Italian restaurant in the world. You're getting a cheeseburger? With a side of marinara. If you're anything like me, even after you've made your decision, you might not always feel peaceful. Then I just try to make a point to notice how much I like everything that I'm getting. The manicotti will be delicious. Ooh. Mm -hmm. So what do you want to do after dinner? I mean, we could try to grab a flick. Oh, there's that new comedy that just came out. Mm, although I heard that the Sandra Bullock movie is pretty great. Oh, but there's that new noir piece. What do you say? Thanks so much for watching, everybody. For more Adam Tanzer's episodes, you can click right here. And please don't forget to subscribe. That happens down here. Laugh a little, think a lot, love better.